Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsworry.com. Today the topic of our discussion is Lindman's law of 10% or rule of 10%. This is an ecological pyramid, the first trophic level that is formed by primary producers or green plants, then herbivores form the second trophic level and the carnivores form the third trophic level. According to Lindman, only 10% of energy is transferred from one trophic level to the next trophic level. Suppose 1000 kilocalorie of energy is fixed by green plants by photosynthesis at the first trophic level, 90% of energy is lost as heat used during metabolism and also lost as during excretion. And only 10% of energy is transferred to the second trophic level or herbivorous level that is 100 kilocalorie. The same thing happens with the energy transfer from second trophic level to the third trophic level. 90% of energy is lost as heat, metabolism or, or used in metabolism or lost by excretion and only 10% is transferred to the next trophic level that is only 10 kilocalories transferred to the next trophic level that is in the secondary consumer level. This law is called as law of 10% or the efficiency of energy transfer from one trophic level to the next trophic level is just 10%. And this is the background of Lindman's work. Raymond Lindman was the first one to study the trophic efficiencies of different ecosystem. The study area was Minnesota Lake and Mendota Lake. According to Lindman law of 10%, only 10% of net primary productivity of producers is transferred to the herbivores and to the next levels. Many recent studies suggest that this may not be always true and the trophic efficiency or energy transfer efficiency varied greatly and primarily depends upon the behavior of organisms involved rather than their position in food web or food chain. Still, it is a rule that is applicable in many cases. Thanks for watching. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.